Hi, Aaron's. Julia here, recording this. August 6, 2022. Or the year 5916, Annus Mundi. 5,916 years after the Great Flood. Doesn't seem like it's been that long, huh? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was thinking of the term, or the phrase, no pain, no gain. <clears throat> and how that applies to us with our life lessons in this realm. Because uh, you don't really learn a lot if everything just goes smooth and perfect all the time. And I just think of the spoiled child that throws tem temper tantrums when they don't get their way and they have everything. And those type of people have no gratitude. And uh, they, they're really not happy usually either. You know, the, the tantrums of the spoiled kid. You know, he's always, or she it, <laughs> is always uh, upset when they don't get things exactly like they want it. So uh, those lessons that we get from not having things exactly like we want it are where we really grow and develop. And none of us enjoy the pain and suffering while we're going through it. But, man, the lessons we get from those types of um, experiences are, are, you know, they're, they're priceless. You can't get them anywhere else. They're just, they're the ultimate and the lessons that we learn here. So, you know, the challenges that we have, uh, the hardships, the grief, the sadness, the anger... But we just have to remember to uh, go through those emotions, you know, feel them, go through them, release them, but don't stay there. You know, we always got to be mindful of our resonance, of our frequency. And if we stay in those negative emotions, then uh, we're not able to uh, have a fulfilling life, you know, we're just all out of sorts and our minds just focus on you know the negative aspects and all the wrong that's happened and gone on and yeah it just really keeps our resonance at a level where we get in a rut you know and we, we just manifest from our subconscious and from our emotions which are not in the most positive light and, uh, and then we're not happy with our reality so uh, we have to embrace the pain and the suffering and deal with the emotions that go along with it. But then don't stay there. You know, don't stay in anger. Don't stay in grief. Don't stay in sadness. And I know it's easier said than done. <laughs> that I know for sure. And so that's another good reason to do your emotional healing work. And you can find a playlist in my playlist some of my work and then Michael's playlist it's in my say playlist and it gives you some instructions on an easy modality to do emotional healing work but yeah we really have to check ourselves when we get angry or frustrated or annoyed and you know there are plenty of situations which warrant those uh, emotions those responses but the key is to not stay there. You know, feel it and go on. And uh, just keep focused on what you want, how you want things to be. Now, I know if you've lost a loved one or something, you probably want them back, you know. So you also have to be realistic about your wants. And, uh, you know, if, if you're a loved one, you will see them. You will see them again. So... Maybe, you know, in one sense or another. So you don't need to stay there in that grief forever. You know, I know there's a period where we all need to grieve when we lose someone. And a lot of people are losing people. Not necessarily to them passing away. But just uh, parting ways on belief systems these days. You know, there's been a big divide in the last couple of years. In case y'all haven't noticed among mindsets and a lot of people have lost family members and spouses and you know 
Well, I guess that's a family member <laughs> and, and close friends. So, um, yeah, it's hard when you have that loss, but you just have to go on, learn the lesson from it, hope for the best, and be realistic about how you want things to be and stay focused on that. If you don't do anything else other than focus on how you want things to be, that's enough. It really is. Eventually things will manifest. But uh, if you sit there and think how bad things are, and you sit there and you're angry all the time, or bitter, or frustrated, then that's just going to be the loop that keeps coming back to you, you know? That's what it is. It's a feedback loop. Your, your biofield, your aura, the magnetic field around you, it gets, it gets imprinted with, with, with your thoughts, your emotions, and your subconscious, and it gives to you what you are. I think Jason from Archaic says, the universe doesn't give you what you want, it gives you what you are. So make sure you are what you want to be, you know? And think about the type of people that you prefer to be around. Do we like to be around the people that complain all the time, that are always angry and bitter? The road ragers. <laughs> My ex was such a road rager, it was scary. But, uh, yeah, those people are not fun to be around. We really have to work to keep our resonance where we want it when we're around that type of people. And we certainly don't want to be that, you know, so emotions are great, feel them, get, get through them, but don't stay there and, and don't, don't try to hate and get revenge, those kinds of things. Man, talk about energy consumption when you have that kind of attitude. Yeah, just hate, revenge, those kind of things. They're not worth it. They're not worth it. Like I said the other day, pick your battles and uh, move on, you know. If someone did you wrong, move on. You know, they say the best revenge is to have a good life. And that's true. And yeah, hate, revenge, those kind of things, they just lead to nowhere. Except dissonance, you know, in your body. So keep your resonance up. You know, know that the pain and suffering give you good lessons. Again, I don't know how much we would learn without that. None of us would be the same people we are today if we hadn't had all those tough lessons. So, you know, they all build our character. We all make it through it. When we look back on our pain, it doesn't seem near as bad as it did when we were going through it. And that's always how it is, so... Yeah, just hang in there, uh, Keep stay positive, focus on what you want, and always help others when you can, and thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you all next time. Ciao, ciao.